Welcome back everyone, I'm Depressed Dior, and this is Final Fantasy Tactics with the content patch. Alright, let's go to the shop first. We got a little bit to mess around with, not much. Okay, I've already sold everything pretty much, okay. Let's go to, um... Well, I'll go ahead and buy one more potion. But there is actually one other thing we can sell since the game's kind of to give us a whole lot of starting stuff. Uh, this is a power source. Um, it's an ancient artifact from Morand, which is actually kind of a hint about something later, but um, essentially this is what used to be an elixir in the original uh, non-patched version. Um, but elixirs can no longer be used. They replaced it with a power source, which used to be only... Well, it used to be an elixir, and they took the elixir out of the uh, chemistry and made it so only monsters, certain monsters can use elixirs, which didn't really make any sense to me. And now they have Power Source, which is another item thing that only a certain character can use. So I'm just going to get rid of it, because I don't care about it. And it's worth 2500 and I can use the money. So we'll sell that. If it's a bad idea, well, whatever. The worst that can happen is I can, uh... That prevent me from maybe finishing a quest, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't affect it. Anyway, we're gonna get ourselves a lot of uh, supplies here. So ten Phoenix Downs, ten more of these, and that should be good for right now. Priest and Time Mage, Rod, Wizard. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! So I have to pick one or the other, huh? Alright, well, for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna buy one rod, one oak staff. Oh, and we'll use the last one on the potion. You might think I'm kind of overreacting with all the potions. I can assure you I am probably not. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and save there. Alright, as of recording this, I'm still recording on the same day, so I haven't actually gotten any votes for Ramza just yet about classes. And I think I called them Ramses initially, which is not right. But everyone else is prepared, for the most part. Um, I'll try to include uh, basic uh, job levels and stuff to the uh, description below as I progress through this. Uh, right now there's not much to say besides listing everyone's progress. So let's uh, get this going. So we get the you can't really see the path because of the glitching. Well, actually you can kind of see it right there. but. Um, we can only go to the Mandalia Plains and then this place. Anything that's red will either be an automatic encounter or an event. So in this case it's going to be a fighting encounter. Okay, we're going to get plot first. There's going to be a lot of this in the beginning. Having attained the highest rank of Heavenly Knight, Brave Balbanes was facing his last days. Sorry for the glitching. The end of the 50 year war, the Bell of, Re uh, Bell of Resonance. This is another flashback. A flashback within a flashback. How goes the battle? Through swift action, we were able to recover Limberry. It's only a matter of time before the Ordalia army leaves uh, Zeltinia. Don't worry. The secret messenger sent to uh, Count uh, Lenario has returned. Count Lenario has agreed to your plan. Good then, at last, this long war will finally come to an end. Father. Don't cry, my daughter. Where's Ramza? Just when we need him most. Zizendar, Zalbeg, my beloved sons. Take care of Ramza. He may be your half-brother, but he is my own flesh. Father. Lower your voice. I'm glad you came. Let me look at you. Father. It has been a long time. You've become a fine man. You start at the academy in spring, don't you? Listen, Ramza. A bell of 
has served the royal family for generations. The warrior sp spirit is in us. I'm going to mispronounce that family name a lot, by the way. Never shame your name. Never tolerate injustice. Living true t in your to your heart in the warrior's way, the bell of way. I understand, Father. Dudley is a good boy. He should serve you well. I have asked the dean to accept him into the academy. It shocked the dean a bit. He will serve you well. Treat him well. Y yes, Father. Take good care of Alma. Become a fine knight, Ramza. Is that enough? Are you good? Are we good? Yes. Alright, I'm saving again just so I don't have to repeat that. Alright. Now, a lot of these story battles in the beginning, it's going to limit us to four people instead of five, which is a little annoying, so I'm going to go ahead and go equal with opportunity here. I'm going to have two guys and two girls. Uh, we definitely want Sakia, so we can get her started on her stuff. Uh, let's see. Teal doesn't require much to get her job stuff, so I'm not going to worry about her. I'm going to put Iria in as well. So there you go. Also, you can look up statuses here if you need to. So we're going to be going without our archer, which kind of sucks, but that's not a big deal. Don't worry, for the random encounters and stuff, I will be able to um, use all five people. and thieves and some guy. Still breathing. What will we do? Maybe keep stabbing him. Don't be stupid. We just need to get to Marquis. Or to get the Marquis. Right. Don't blame us. Blame fate. What? Damn. The Hokuto Knights. Death Corps? They attacking someone? Alright. Um, you get two choices. You get, you get these small little choices. Um, one of them... Each of them will affect how your how the rest of the battle is supposed to be. Uh, as in, uh, if you pick saving him, him is our priority. Uh, the requirement for the battle is to make sure he stays alive. And if you choose this one, you just have to kill everybody. But if you pick if you pick this one, your brave will drop, and I think this one will increase your brave. So saving him is our priority. Cause I'd like my braves to be high. Don't disgrace the knights. Saving him comes first. Save Algus, which means if he falls, uh, we get game over, which is very, very annoying, because he's right now surrounded. He's ra rather durable, though. Not that durable, though. If he's smart, he'll go and heal, but we know he might not be smart. Sorry, my MSN's frockin'. Target. Target does a variable amount of damage and usually has a really high hit rate. And that's not looking too good over there. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reach with any heals yet. Even with throw, uh, throw item. Um, I did go ahead and look up the chemist. The chemist automatically has throw item, um, maintenance, and move find item. So she can actually move around and find items if you really want her to. Though that's not exactly a smart thing to do. Reinforcements, thank god. Okay, he's gonna use a potion. Now run away. Please run away. Good. That's what we needed to do. Oh, and there's also a Tonberry. <laughs> there's just a random Tonberry. I need to show that off. Um, Tonberries weren't in the original game. This is a new monster put in through the patch. Tonberries. They have... they are not fun to fight, just like any uh, Tomberry. Sneaky creature that creeps towards its enemies carrying a knife and a lantern. It has meat to bone slash and counter. 
cannot enter water. So, yeah. If you heavily wound this thing, it's gonna... Okay, what counter does, you've already seen. I, you attack them, and then they'll attack back. Meat Bone Slash is if you reduce them to critical, there's a chance that they will do a counter on attack for equal to their maximum amount of health, which means it'll be 68 damage, which is pretty nasty. And then cannot enter water is self-explanatory. They can't go into water, which doesn't matter here. They have three abilities. Chef ni uh, chef's Knife uh, attacks enemy with huge knife, may kill instantly. Yes, it has a chance of instant death. Everyone's Grudge does um, damage equal to the amount of damage they've suffered. And then Voodoo, which does slow and poison. Yeah, these things aren't fun. They're very slow, though. So we're just going to stay away from them <laughs> until I get an opportunity to fight them. Voodoo has a range of like four. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So if I charge him, I would actually be in range of Voodoo. And I don't want to be in range of Voodoo. These guys, on the other hand, have... This one has battle skills and plus one movement. Might as well look up these guys. This one has just basic skills. This one has battle skills as well as counter throw, but uses a dagger. Counter throw uses a dagger and shield. Oops. Oh, and this guy is just a squire. He has his own little special stuff as well, and he uses bows. He can, he can actually use a shield as well. He's actually rather well equipped. Anyway. Trying to get to this guy. This guy has just steel and jump plus one and weapon guard. J none of, jump plus one is kind of useless here, so no worries there. And I keep thinking there's a way to tilt the, the, the map, but I can't seem to find it, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright. I'm going over here. Oh. And we're going to wait. You went right there. Here comes the Tonberry. Potion. Uh, none of these guys have item, apparently, which is good. They do have basic skills, which means they can do throw a stone. Go ahead, beat up Delita. Okay, don't beat, beat up Delita, that's fine. Good hit. here and try to attack from the front. Awesome. Got a job level up. Awesome. Hmm. You're going to need some healing. Yeah, this is why we need potions, because we're going to use a lot of them. Especially when I'm off-screen grinding. This one has weapon guard. Okay, I hit at least. Job level up. Awesome. Yeah, the slight disadvantage about the fact that I've made like multiple characters like from scratch is I didn't really get any benefit from the previous battle besides whatever ramps that I got. Oh, 
nice shot, but didn't hit. But as long as he keeps fighting from a range like that, um, it'll be pretty good, safe for us. Um, thieves. Uh, I keep forgetting to mention about thieves. Thieves in the patch are a lot deadlier, uh, mainly because thieves. If I can, sh maybe I can show it. Warriors who can steal anything from anyone, their skill and boldness are legendary. Okay, it doesn't list it. But thieves in the in the patch version have concentrate, which means they have 100% chance to hit no matter what. They're also very fast, which is why they use daggers, and they have the skill called steal, which um, for the most part it involves abilities they can do moves like throw GP, where they throw gold at you and do damage from a range. Um, then they have various steals, which are pretty good for getting items from like special enemies and bosses. And then they have one move that's called Steel Heart, which allows them to charm the opposite gender, which is not fun. Anyway, item potions. How are we doing? I don't care about Delita. Okay, we'll heal you up. Alright, we've taken down one, which means we have at least a, an advantage for now. Ah, you're not doing so well on the parrying thing. What are you doing? Okay, you're attacking him. Another one down. Oh yeah, I forgot. Squires actually have no wish, which can revive people. Of course, it revives them to one, but uh, it's still a revive. Push down. Leave my healer alone. It's like you can stop time. You got nothing on her. Let's see. Is there a way to... No. Oops, wrong thing. You can actually hit select it, and it'll tell you about the uh, the terrain you're on. It also tells you what Geomancer effect you can uh, use on it. Which, uh, Geomancers are special... Uh, it's a job class. That's all you really need now. Trying to figure out what button I'm supposed to press. No, not that one. There it is. AT. You can pull up the AT list to figure out whose who's turns uh, come up next, which means right now it's going to be Ramza, Masara, Iria, and then Curtis. You're Curtis. So, what I'm going to do... Let's move over here. Actually... you from behind, and hope I don't get killed by a Tonberry. Okay, you're down to two health now. Okay, the thief's dead, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Switch my facing to you. How are you doing? You're in doing okay, you're doing okay. I will try to prolong the fight so I can get some of these uh, items, but I can't really promise anything, especially with guests around. Hmm. What if I go here? Can I reach you from here? Yes, I can. Oh my god, I swear to god, if you get instant killed by that Tonberry... Nope. He's going for Voodoo, which is going to hit. I'm slowed and poisoned. Slow ensures that your turn comes up a lot so uh, later, and poison does periodic damage throughout the... I think after every turn. So it actually kind of cancels each other out a little bit. Anyway, you put your back to me, so I'm just going to hit you. And he's going to... Use counter throw, but misses. Counter throw is like a weaker form of counter, but it also has the added benefit of being able to uh, counter at range, at least to a certain point. You gonna go kill him for me? Nope, ninety percent missed, and now you got hit with counter throw. And now you're gonna go down. I don't really care about Delita though, so that's fine. Now 
Alright, you're down. I'll go ahead and have you just wait. I kinda want this Tonberry dead. What? Oh, you're, oh, you're using my Phoenix down. Oh well, at least it keeps you away from the Tonberry. He leveled up, good for him. Everyone's grudge. Hey, missed. Everyone's grudge is a ranged attack that deals damage equal to the amount of damage they suffered. Which in this case would be 20. Now I'm just gonna hop over here. Say hi to you. Oh, I didn't. Okay, you're fine. Never mind. Okay, no counter. Took six damage from poison, and the slow is already worn off. Oh, these things only have 40 brave, which means they the counter chance is only 40%, which is fine. Go ahead and heal yourself. I would be slightly annoyed by this resurrection, but it means I have more time to get items. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just stay right there. Actually, whose turn is next? Algus, which is you, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you're probably gonna attack somebody. Fine. You know what? You stay right there. Oh, you're gonna kill the Tonberry? Please succeed. Nope, I'm kind of in trouble. And he's gonna take that crystal. Bloody hell. I should have paid attention to the turn order. Because he's gonna take, take the crystal. The AI always takes the crystals. Got some clothes. So we missed out on getting some skills from that thief. It's not too big of a deal, but it's still very annoying. And he also cast Regen on himself, so yay. Just gonna heal up a bit, because I don't want to get killed by a counter throw. Good uh, signs, because I only did 12 damage. Thrust down. Get some of that. Let's steal my stupid crystal. It's not too big. Like I said, it's not too big of a deal. Most of the quest battles don't have much. At least in the early ones. Beat down. This thing has a low hit chance, but it does a lot of damage. Die. How are you holding up? Hey, found an oak staff. Good job. I guess I didn't need to buy it. That's okay. Here, get healed up. And we can't kill this guy. At least not yet. junk, but at least it'll give us a little extra money. Beat down. Ok, 
God, I can't hit 81%. At least she knocked me back. So I can, like, I don't know, go pick up this item. Get some clothes. Also, potions give you, like, kind of, essentially it's free XP a lot, um, in most cases. Kill Stealer. Uh, guests do not participate in random battles, thankfully. So they can't just steal all my treasure. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this battle. Tonberries don't have anything. They don't have skills you can learn. So we'll finish this up. No level ups. But that's okay. Are you okay? Barely. But the Marquis. Marquis? You mean Marquis El Elmdor? Yeah, who are you? We're military cadets. I think we can help. Tell us more. There you go. Battle over. Blind knife. Potion. Phoenix down. The blind knife is rather useful here. It has a chance of causing blindness, which uh, reduces hit chance by a lot. I'm Algus of the Limberry Agus, Agus Knights. A knight? I mean, a cadet, like you all. I'm Reza, uh, Ramza Belov. This is Delita, a good friend. Belov of the Hakuten. Excellent, how lucky I am. I beg, uh, beg you, please help me save the Marquis. What are you talking about? The Marquis is, al is still alive. They've kidnapped him. He will be killed if we don't act fast. I don't know what I would do if... So please, help me, please. Stop taking my hand. Relax, we don't know for sure if he'll be killed. There must be some reason for DevCore to take him. They might have made some demands. Besides, there is nothing we can do. The Marquis has kidnapped, uh, was kidnapped, and I'm sure by now everyone at Egros is up, at, up in arms. First we go to Egros and report. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so... I got some job level ups. Ain't that fantastic. Nothing really worth the trouble though. Oops, excuse me. You already have move plus one. You have move plus one. You weren't in the battle. Okay. So nothing really too special. I suppose we can pick up things like cheer and throw stone if we really want to. In fact, that might be a good idea. But I'll save up for wish. Why not? We'll save up for wish. Anyway, let's go ahead and save our game. And I'm going to show you something. Now, at this point, in the regular game, you can actually use... As you can see, I'm standing on a, what you can probably barely see it, but th this dot is now green and not red. Green dots are essentially where you can have random encounters, which you'll encounter like various mercenaries and monsters and stuff like that. And depending on what direction you enter, decides where you start in the field, and it also affects what sort of encounters you you will well encounter. Now, usually at this point, I in the normal game, I can just head back and forth here and start getting my job levels and stuff. But in the this version, the, with the content patch, I advise you never fight this place at the beginning level from the coming from the right or from the uh, east side. Because, um, well, I'll show you. It, I already saved, so we'll go here real quick. We'll buy some supplies. We don't really need to, but I'm just in case. Maybe so, I might pull off a win. It's unlikely, but we might pull off a win. Speaking of maybe pulling off a win, let's uh, improve our odds a little. We got a blind knife. Hmm. I don't want to give it to him, though. We got 
Pepper Squire. Here, Iria. You're gonna be using a knife soon enough anyway. So, here, have a blind knife. Which will make her faster and do more damage and have a chance of causing blindness, which, by the way, I forgot to show it off. Has the added effect of darkness. Also, if we go to a formation... Okay, nothing has changed yet. I guess it's later on. So, what you can do is go back and forth. Now, what I don't understand is why it has, like, a... Well, actually, I do understand why there's a date system. But that's just for, like, something not really that useful. You know, I'm supposed to be, like, reporting. It's been, like, over two weeks now. But I want to show this fight, because it's bad. Like, very bad. Let's start with you. You. So you open up there, and you go right there. So you, in most cases, you'll be fighting like some easy stuff, like some monsters. But every time I've done this encounter from the, coming from the east, you usually start out with about three thieves and some really powerful monsters. And the thieves will have auto potion. And it seems to be about just about the same. Tonberry, two thieves, there might be another, we'll see. Oh, and they also start at level 9, if you didn't notice. Oh yeah, three thieves, a goblin, and a tomberry. And he's got charm. Okay, thank god I missed. That's Steelheart. It uh, has a chance of charming the opposite gender. So this guy has monster find, move find item, item, steal, and so forth. Also, these are thieves, which means they have a 100% hit chance when they attack. Are you afraid yet? Because you should be. Also, even with the darkness dagger, um, if they get blinded, they still have a 100% chance of hit. So yay, everyone wins. Oh yeah, you have a range attack, I keep forgetting that. I probably could have been able to attack from there, but that's alright. As I said, this is not a fun fight. In any stretch of the imagination. And this is going to be a long video if you hadn't guessed already. At least until I give up from this fight. Hi, Potion! They're back, he's back to full now. And then he moves away. And soon we're about to fight all of them at the same time, so you kind of get the gist of it. Because, quite frankly... Now, the good news is, if you do kill them, you get pretty good stuff if you, can loot, if you have enough time to loot them. But, look at... As you can see, there's this guy who has counter, which isn't a big deal, but this guy has auto potion down here. He has a equal to his brave percent chance every time he gets hit that he'll do, use his weakest potion, which in most cases will probably be a, just a regular potion. So every time you hit them, there's a 47% chance he'll just heal himself for 30. Unless, of course, he dies. And this one has caution, which means after you hit him once, there's a 63% chance he'll just go into guard mode, which he'll take half damage from everything else for the, until his next action. So, yeah. And then this is a goblin. Uh, goblins used to be just a pushover, especially the regular ones, which is, this one is a regular one. And 
Alright, this one, small demon with big ears and an upturned nose. Uh, small body, but quite strong. Counter throw. So needless to say, it's uh, it's a lot stronger now. It has Tackle, which is its normal attack. It has Eye Gouge, which can cause confusion and darkness. Turn Punch, which hits three people at the same time. And then Triple Impact, which is a triple attack that d does a lot of damage. And I don't really see why the AI never uses it. Actually, the AI always uses it. I don't see why he, they would, you know, not use it. I mean. And they hit hard. They have really high stats, and they're not fun. So, like I said, if you're playing the content patch, whether it's the, the content patch or the hard, or the, uh, hard version, this encounter is still the same, and uh, it's level 9 against people with auto potion and high potions. So, don't... You'll get another opportunity to grind after uh, the next couple of one or two events. So, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video, and I'll probably just, uh, when we start again, I'll be heading, I'll continue in the plot, and I'll show you a better, much easier fight to deal with. So until then, everyone, I'm The Depressed Dior, and this was Final Fantasy Tactics with the content patch. See you guys later.